this video from Sharpo, we're going to demonstrate how you can add a bit more protection to your register by putting on high amount lockouts on the method of payments or tender buttons like TLNS, your cash button, CH1 and CR1. So there's the three methods of payment and we're going to limit the amount of money you can ring through them. So in a previous video I've demonstrated how you can limit the amount of money that's rung for an individual department button. But I haven't reduced the amount you can ring through um, the tender buttons. So currently they're totally open, so you've got a very similar problem. You can ring through as much as you want virtually, and then you've got like an absurd amount of change to, to issue out of the machine. Um, so yeah, you, let's limit those. It's a similar process to how you've limited your department buttons. So it's mode, six, TLNS, down to setting, and then this time you go into media, and then you've got your methods of payment buttons now. Cash, check one, and credit one are the TLNS, CH1, and CR1 button respectively. Your check two and your credit two are hidden away under the payment menu button. Um, so you may not use those payment menu. Um, but obviously if you do, then you can change them here. So all you do is you go into each button by highlighting it and pressing TLNS, and then arrowing down to the halo. And exactly like the department buttons, you just put a limit in. So if you don't want anyone ringing more than £100 through the cash button, um, then that's you change that to £100. Just obviously be aware that it could potentially cause problems. So if you, if you do get sales nearly at £100, you might want to put the limit to £200. But it's you know your business best and what you want from the register. Um, and again, tender non-compulsory is an interesting one. So you can make it compulsory if, and you can program this by the button. So I'm actually going to do this now. So if I change this to be compulsory, that means I cannot just cash off a sale by pressing the TLNS button. I have to type in the amount of money that is being tendered. Um, I'll just, I'll program it so you can see how it works. Um, TLNS save, get you to the next one, check one. Same process, I'm going to limit that to 200 pounds and then credit one will limit that to 50 pounds that one's got tender inhibited and the reason is obviously it's designed to be a credit card payment button so you would never um, need to tender the amount because you the, the till manufacturers presume that if the sale is 27.99 you're going to ring 27.99 through the credit card terminal so I don't even know if you can change that. You can change it, but if you change it, it has to be compulsory. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave that as it is. So let's save, escape, cancel, back to total. And then if I now ring my sale through, uh, got to remember which buttons I've left open. Not those two. Okay, so I've got a hundred pound sale in department one. Um, then let's put £50 through department 13. So I've got £150 sale, so I can't cash that off. It's too high an amount. I can cash it off with a check button because I have that at £50. Um, but yeah, that's the way the button works. Obviously, if you just had a normal sale. So that's the amount tendered only. I have to put in the um, amount tendered. That could be a really irritating feature, but it's also useful because I do like if I've taken a £20 payment, especially with notes when it's a small amount of money, you don't want any arguments um, at the till point of a handed over a tenner or a handed over a 20 when you've just rung it through. I mean, it doesn't prove they handed over £20, but the amount of money that you've put down that they've tendered does appear on your screen there. Um, on the Well, it appears on the screen, but also on the receipt printout. So... Yeah, it's a feature um, that you might want to think about, but if you decide you don't like it, it's dead easy to change. You just go back into the programming and turn it off where you've turned where you've previously turned it on. So yeah, so that's how to put a high amount lockout on your um, methods of payments. Hope that video has been helpful. Uh, there's other videos on the XEA 307 and other sharp cash registers which will be appearing on screen now. You're welcome to watch those. 
can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.